Do you have a bunch of looms and you don't know what loom gauge they are? Well, have no fear. The loom gauge ruler is here. We have the precision loom gauge ruler that gives you exactly what you need to find out what exactly that fraction is. It's so hard to measure on the measuring tape. And we have a range ruler, which is a small, shorter version, and it gives you all the ranges in the extra fine gauge all the way to the jumbo gauge looms. And all these little tick marks mark off all the ones that fit into that range. So I'm going to show you how to use a ruler, how to get the ruler, and best practices on printing the ruler. All right, well, I've got a selection of a few looms here, and let's say I want to find out what it is. So I'm going to look at my little chart. First of all, this little chart comes with it too. We have extra fine gauge, EFG, fine gauge, small gauge, regular, large, extra large, and jumbo. And this little um, little chart helps you because it tells you all the CDC spacings, the center peg to center peg measurement, and all the fractions involved in it. And this handy dandy chart tells you what weight is recommended on that loom. So it's really cool. You can hole punch it and put it on your keychain or whatever you want to do, put it in your loom bag and um, go to town. The range ruler works like this. We have one that has the ranges of sizes that fit in that gauge. And then um, the precision one is to find out precisely which gauge it is. So if you just want to know exactly what fraction it is, you just hold this one right up to it, pick up your loom and find it. So if I look at this uh, line here, this long vertical line that connects them all, I want to line that up with the center of my peg here. All right, so let's go until we find it. So we're gonna go line up to one of these pegs here, this one here, and I'm gonna move and so let's start down here. So you can see that it's not gonna be in the extra fine category. It's not gonna be in these fine gauge all the way to here. Now we're in small gauge. Okay, see so we're not quite to three eighths yet. But it looks like, oh, it looks like we're 7 sixteenths. Do you see that? So we're lining up the center of one peg. And if it's easier, you can line up with the side or where you see that shadow. You can line up with that side edge on that peg and then look where it lines up on the same side edge of the other peg. Just do whatever is easier for you. But it basically, it fits in the middle of each peg. Okay, so if I went to the half, you'd see that it goes over a little bit. Now it's um, falling in. Uh, you can see this little line here. It's faint on the camera, but you can see it in real life. You can see that the 7 16 falls in the small gauge, and if it went up to half inch, it would fall in the regular gauge. If we want to use our range ruler, then I put it up here, and we just saw that it was fitting in the small gauge category. So you can see that line there, and you can see it fits with the largest one in the small gauge. If I go up to regular gauge, you can see how it's not quite in that category. It goes just past it, okay? And that's how we can tell. Let's pick another one. Here's an old Markman Farm loom. See it has these big wide spaces? I can just line it up to one of those lines and then this line, uh, the same line on this side over here. So I think that was, let's see, this category here. Yeah, it fits in the small gauge category. So it's gonna be on that first that first little tick mark there, which is probably going to be more accurate. Then I can go to the small gauge and it's the smallest one. And that is going to be the um, 5 16 So we know that that's 5 16 You can see, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but there's a little line here. Okay. So that's how you use it. Any of them will work. And because it's clear, uh, it works really well. And you're using a nice laminate that has a um, it has a nice thickness to it. So we'll talk about that in just a moment. You can also um, choose to use just the transparency only, and then it'll be really flimsy and stuff. So this could get bent or um, or whatever or destroyed. That's why I recommend putting it on laminate. All right, stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to print your own to get your precision loom gauge ruler and the range ruler plus the chart. Click on the link in the description below or the little eye icon for information on your exclusive link to Etsy. The following are printing instructions for your loom gauge range ruler and the chart and the precision loom gauge ruler. For best results, you want to print off two transparencies and then we're going to sandwich them in between a 10 mil 
layer. Now my printer at my uh, Office Depot, Office Max, uh, they had a five or a 10. If you use the five, you can get results uh, that have these bubbles and pockets. And also it will give you the same results if you only use one layer of transparency in between. Okay, so how you do that is you print off two of these and put the right side up and then put one right side down and then they get put right into this little pocket, okay? And so I would put in one here. And so when you print yours off, it's going to look like this, okay? But when we cut it out, they will totally separate and you will have two sets of tools. If you want to, you could print one transparency and put it face up and then you can take a cardstock and put it face down like this and then you put it in a, a laminate envelope again this is just a sample so it's not the whole thing but it would get laminated and then you would have two separate sheets it's just the back of this cardstock would be raw the other thing that I did is I printed one extra sheet off on cardstock and then uh, I have my chart that I can uh, really see really well. Otherwise, it's going to be clear, like this sample here. So if you want it a uh, solid and heavier weight to put on a key ring or something, then I recommend doing that. Here, I'm going to show you what this looks like as I'm cutting it out. Before cutting, make sure that your trimmer or cutter has a nice sharp blade. If it doesn't, it's not going to go through very well. It's going to stop cutting and it could actually ruin your tool. So you want to make sure that uh, this is working properly. I used them for free to cut out my samples actually when I printed them off at the office supply place and it worked really well and they keep theirs nice and sharp because they have to. Plus if it's messed up, they'll fix it for you. <laughs> The cutter I'm using is one of these older style, I call it a guillotine style, but uh, you can use the ones that, um, that slice this way. Uh, I recommend going ahead and just um, putting your blade down uh, close up to this line on this side here, but you're gonna do it on the right side and just do the edges first work around all four edges. Now, if you have printed them back to back on the clear laminate, of course, it will look a little bit jumbled, but you should be able to get around the entire perimeter. And then once you cut those, it will loosen the two sides from each other. And then you can just cut them individually down into the individual rulers. And you can see I've cut one of them out and now I'm working on the second one with the chart below. Just cut out around the chart and then trim the little extra edges there and then cut out the other ruler and you will be good to go. And then trim your second set of rulers. Another tip is to uh, print off an extra one of these on cardstock and you can cut out all of the fractions and you can use it to organize and label your looms at home. If you wanna put them in bins sorted by the gauge, then um, that's completely up to you. It would be a fun way to use one of your extra um, prints. Please do not share the PDF with someone else. Copyright states that you are using it for your own personal use. So if you would uh, purchase a PDF for yourself, I would gladly appreciate it and you will enjoy it time and time again. The Loom Gauge Ruler and Chart is available on Etsy exclusively. Click on the little eye icon for more information or down in the link below to get yours today.